What is going on guys? So this is my review on the Toro Time Master. Now, recently I was doing a job and all of a sudden I heard this massively loud bang. And then the lawn mob was under extreme load and the blades weren't spinning. Now what happened is, is obviously the blades had slipped and then they collided at full speed. So now, it's not working. Currently I'm in the process of trying to get my money back. I bought it from Bunnings. Um, they said I have to wait between one and two days to find the out uh, hear the outcome of whether or not I'm getting my money back. So, if I do get my money back, I'm not really sure what I'm going to buy, but as for the lawnmower, as, it, as for the lawnmower itself, it's not too bad of a lawnmower, I mean, 30 inch, you can save a bit of time with a few lawns, but bottom line is for the size that the Time Master is, it's not really the most powerful lawnmower there is. Um, it will struggle through anything that is thick or buffaloes or anything like that. It will struggle. If the lawn is wet, it will not pick up the clippings. Um, do I recommend it for a contractor? I'd probably have to say yes and no. Uh, yes, because it can save you a little bit of time. No, if you are mowing, uh, you know, lawns that require, lawns that require like a, um, you know, a lot of lawn to be cut off. Because um, again, it does struggle with, uh, you know, tall grass and wet grass especially so under the right circumstances it's good um, as for residential which is majority of our work I find a 21 or a 19 inch to be a bit more maneuverable um, the Toros are a bit more heavier I think it's like 90 kilos or 95 kilos um, so yeah also another big negative of the Time Master is the uh, cutting. So the Time Master had, the blades are a lot higher than the deck. So what that means is when you're trying to mow short but you're going over a hill, the lawnmower will bottom out. Now this can be a massive pain um, so again, if you're trying to mow short lawns, the Time Master is not for you. And believe me when I say it, if you're wanting to cut short lawns, buy something else. Um, you know, I wanted to kind of overlook some of the flaws of it, you know, because it is 30 inch. But, um, trying to mow long grass and stuff like that it does struggle because <laughs> the engine isn't big enough you know the Briggs and Stratton 160 cc it does struggle um, would I buy another one myself I think personally I'd be leaning to either going a zero turn or a you know, like a zero turn ride on, 40 inch, or like 42 inch, or 48 inch, or 50 inch, whatever you want. Or a um, 21 inch Honda, self propelled. Because, um, yeah. And another thing that the Time Master struggles with is hills. Definitely struggles with hills. Um, it can't seem to push its way up. You have to push it up and trying to push 90 kilos up a hill isn't exactly the easiest thing, especially if you're doing it all day, it can get quite tiring. Um, but I find one of the biggest 
uh, one of the biggest struggles is it bottoming out all the time if you're trying to cut short lawns. So, to sum it up, I would probably give the Time Master a 6 out of 10 based on cutting, um, price, because it's quite expensive, it's quite an expensive unit. Um, it's probably a 5 out of 10 maybe. Yeah, I don't really recommend it. I mean, I want to get my money back for it, but um, I don't know if it'll happen or not. But yeah, we just got to see. Um, so I know in a couple of days, but I wasn't too happy when it broke, considering you know you spend all this money on. A piece of equipment, you know, you spend 1500 bucks and you expect it to be u beaut but it doesn't always work out that way, so time will tell. So, thanks for watching, anyways, guys, and um, hope it helps with uh, finding the right mower catches.